Let's talk about an experiment with microphones, and this is also a possible practical application. In fact, years ago, I've used this scenario. You take two microphones, let's say we're looking from above and there are two microphones side by side about five inches apart, mounted on a support that holds both of them in the same position. You plug a cable into the microphones, but it's a special cable, whereby both microphones are hooked into the same cable. Only one of the plugs into one of the microphones is out of phase. So that means that both of the microphones are out of phase with each other. Then you plug that one cable into a mixer, a recorder, or a PA system, whatever. Now let's assume that there is one person singing into a microphone, and we're seeing this scene from above. We see the person from above, and we see the microphones from above. This person is singing into one of the microphones up close. Not both, not both mics, but just singing into one of them up close. It doesn't matter which one. Now we introduce the problem that we have that we're trying to overcome. And that is, there's a lot of ambient noise coming from all around. Now it doesn't matter what the scenario is or what kind of noise it is. It could be you're recording someone and you don't want to pick up a freeway that's nearby or maybe it's a person on stage and the band behind them is too loud and you just want more isolation from the band or uh, it's, uh, you're recording a guy who's talking in front of uh, giving a speech, but there's a, uh, a machine nearby and you don't want all that in the recording. Doesn't matter. We're trying to keep that ambient noise out. Well, this old trick really does work to some extent. It actually does cut down a lot of background noise. It seems a little crude because the cables are actually hardwired from one mic to the other. They're on like on the same bus, most people would think that it's proper to plug microphones into a mixer, each, each microphone, but when you parallel cable them this way with one out of phase, you really can cancel a lot of background noise. Now this scenario has only, as far as I know, been performed with dynamic mics and not with condenser mics. Now I performed this experiment with two similar mics, and they should be similar, in this array that I've described, four feet from an air conditioning unit. I tested my voice up close to each mic when the mics were in phase and when the mics were out of phase. It works great both ways, so you get good recorded sound on your voice even when the mics are out of phase if you're up close to one of the mics. Now, I recorded and I am showing a spectral display of the air conditioning noise only comparing the in phase microphone with the background noise and the out of phase phase microphone with a background noise and you'll see that there is quite a bit of cancellation using out of phase microphones. And by the way, this information would come as no surprise to any sound engineer with experience.